In this video, I'm going to go more in depth on how to style SVG symbols with CSS. SVG symbols are an extremely popular way of using SVG icons and is my preferred method most of the time. To start, I've created a basic HTML page with an SVG symbol added onto my page. For reference, here is the SVG file. It contains two symbols, but we'll just be using the cube for this demo. There are a couple things I want to point out right away. First, we're not going to be using CodePen for this demo because SVG symbols don't work well across domains. It's a known issue that should be fixed sometime in the future, and perhaps it is by the time you're watching this. I've added a link to the GitHub issue in the description below. The other thing I wanted to go briefly over is the Shadow DOM. If you inspect this element here, you'll see underneath the Use element is something called the Shadow Root. The Shadow DOM exists mostly in its own context. For example, if I try to get the element Q by its ID, I get back nothing. That's because this SVG content is pulled from the symbol and isn't part of the regular DOM. Because of that, we can't style it with CSS while referencing its ID. This might seem odd, but it's actually a good thing. For example, if we have multiple cubes on this page, would we want multiple items with the same ID? No, that would invalidate our HTML page. The Shadow DOM is also heavily used when creating custom elements. A true deep dive of the Shadow DOM is outside the scope of this video, but I'll link to further reading in the description if you want to learn more. So we can't edit its style directly because of the Shadow DOM. However, there are a few CSS selectors that can pass through the Shadow DOM, and that's what we'll go over here. The first one is the wildcard selector. If all of your SVG elements sh should have a certain style, this is the easiest way to do it. The other two ways depend on making small changes to your SVG symbol file. If for some reason you cannot make changes to that file, you may have to use a combination of methods to style your SVG, such as pulling it in from JavaScript and inlining it. In any case, let's make a change to our SVG here. The first thing we can do is utilize current color. Current color will take whatever font color you have and use that color. This can be very useful for icons in places like navigation bars. If we set this path's fill to current color and the font color in HTML, we can see it updates this square here. The second thing we can use is CSS variables. Like font color, CSS variables pass through to the Shadow DOM and are extremely useful when styling SVGs. This gives us the potential of not only styling our SVGs with color, but also stroke width, transformations, animation delays, and more. If we set this path's fill color to the CSS variable, and then set that variable in our CSS, we see the result. If you ever want to apply the same style to multiple elements, you can group them in your SVG using the G element. Unless overridden on a child element, each child will inherit that style from the group. Here, I'm creating two groups, one with one color and one with another. If I then add the second color to my CSS, we see that change on the page. The great thing about this is now I can have two cubes with two different colors, but the exact same SVG. Also, you can change the colors dynamically. For example, when the user hovers over the SVG. SVG symbols and CSS variables provide a very flexible and powerful system for your icons. I encourage you to check them out, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments below 